Tired of Fire Stick buffering? Tired of Amazon tracking everything that you do and everything that you watch? Then this is the video you've been waiting for because I'm going to show you what settings to turn off immediately to protect your privacy and to end Amazon's tracking of you and your family. So with that out of the way, grab your remote and let's get started. Welcome back guys. Since my video on this subject last year, Amazon has been busy updating its user interface. It's being rolled out right now to all of its devices, and if you don't have it yet, you'll be getting it in the next year. This is what the new user interface looks like. So when you hit that home button on your remote, this is gonna come up and you're gonna see home is highlighted. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find your settings. Now it used to be you'd scroll across the top to the very end where it says settings. On the new user interface, you're just gonna go over to where you see this gear icon. So just scroll over to the right. And as soon as you highlight that gear icon, you see all your settings show up down below. So you're just gonna scroll down and the first thing you're gonna look for is preferences. So scroll over till you get to preferences and click on preferences. Now the most important settings you need to turn off are in this preferences folder. So the first thing that shows up is your parental controls. Now, if you don't have small children in the house, just leave that alone. But if you do, you wanna go in here and set up a pin number. We're gonna go down to privacy settings though. And under privacy settings, you'll see it says over here, manage device privacy settings. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So if you click on that, you're gonna see that everything's turned on by default. So the first thing you see is device usage data is on. It says use personal data collected by the operating system, that's your Fire Stick, of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. So in other words, they want to market to you. They're going to track whatever you're watching or track whatever you do. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is turn that off. So you're going to get this pop-up, just select turn off. Next is collect app usage data. It's also turned on by default. Allow App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. If you're running third-party apps, you want to make sure this is turned off. Why do you want Amazon tracking what you're doing with those third-party apps or Android APKs, whatever else you're using on here? I would definitely turn this off. And also guys, you, again, you'll get this pop-up, just turn off. Also guys, if you are using those apps, please get yourself a VPN. I've got a couple of great discount links in the description below for IPVanish and ExpressVPN. I use them all the time. So if you click on them, it will help out the Rich Man channel and I really do appreciate it. Next, you wanna go down to interest-based ads. Right here it says if you opt out of interest-based ads on this device, apps will be instructed not to use the advertising ID to build profiles for advertising purposes. Your advertising ID is listed down here. So if you turn this off, watch what happens. That disappears. Guess what? They're not tracking you by your ad ID anymore. Now we're gonna click back. And now we're gonna go down to where it says data monitoring. Now if you click on data monitoring, right now I have it turned off. It will be on by default. So I'm turning it back on again. And this can be useful for some of you guys that may have data caps by your ISP. If they're giving you a data cap of 100 gigabytes, let's say, and you know you wanna make sure you don't go over that cap, this can be useful for you. It's gonna monitor how much data you use on a monthly basis. So if it's on, it, it says it will monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire Stick. You can also go in here and set the video quality. If you're worried about running that HD content and using up all that data, I have mine set to best, but you can go in and set it to better or good and it'll stream it at a lesser quality and use up less data. You can also set a data alert. So if you're getting close to that cap, it will alert you at when you get to 90%. And then it will show you your monthly top data usage. Personally, I don't need it. I don't have a cap, so I just turn this off. Now we're gonna go down to notification settings. So if you go into notification settings and you go down to app notifications, 
This is where you can turn off any notifications from any apps that you've downloaded. I don't have anything on here except what it came with the Fire Stick. So the only thing that's showing right now is Alexa notifications. You know, if, if I want to block those notifications, I just click on it and it will turn to off. You may have a whole list of applications here that you need to turn off. If you do, just go one by one, turn them all off. Now let's go back, feature content. Here's another drain on your Fire Stick. So if your Fire Stick's getting slower, what you want to do is go into feature content. You're going to see that these are turned on by default. If you turn these off, it's going to turn off those scrolling video ads that you see on your home screen, which is going to use less data and also help your Fire Stick run a little bit faster and a little bit better. Now let's go back and we're going to find My Fire TV. So scroll over to the left, scroll down one. Here you can check for updates. Every once in a while, just check for updates, even if they're turned on automatically. Just go in here, you can check, it'll show you the last date that you checked for an update. But if we go back here, this is where you're going to turn on your developer options for sideloading those third-party apps or APKs. But it's changed a little bit. So you're going to make sure ADB debugging is turned on. I've already done that. But if you go into Install Unknown Apps, you're going to get this pop-up where it's going to say that no applications installed have requested permission. So just click OK. What's going to happen is if you download something that's a third-party app, it's going to redirect you to here where, they, where you can then enable it to install on your device. It's just a little bit different. And down the bottom, there's a couple of useful things. Whenever you watch anything on your Fire Stick at the end of the day, it's probably a good idea to put it to sleep. That way it's not constantly running in the background. And you can also restart it from here. If it's starting to act a little buggy, you want to restart it, just click the restart button. I wouldn't recommend resetting to factory defaults unless you just want to wipe your Fire Stick completely because then you're going to have to re-download anything that you want. Or if you set up any kind of builds on there, it's going to wipe them all out. So click back. And the next thing we want to look for is applications. So if you go into applications, you'll see Amazon Photos. If you go in as Amazon Photos, you'll see Allow Guest Connections is on. I've already disabled Amazon Photos. So what I would do is turn that off and make sure that it's disabled access to Amazon Photos. So if you go in here, you can click Enable if you want it. If not, just click Disable. It'll ask you a second time if you want to disable it. Click it again and you'll see now it's off and disabled. Same thing with Game Circle. I don't play games on my Fire Stick. So if you go in here, make sure Whisper Sync for Games is off. And App Store, allow apps to update automatically. So you can leave that on if you'd like. Now in-app purchases, I have turned off. That's also on by default. Just turn it off. I don't have subscriptions on my Fire TV and notifications I also have turned off. This is gonna help your Fire Stick run better, guys. Then if we go down to Manage Installed Applications, you click on that, you're gonna see all the apps that are on your Fire Stick show up here. And this can be useful if you wanna just close down certain apps or, or you wanna clear the cache. So let's say we go into IMDB TV. If you click on that, you have several choices here. You can force stop the application, you can clear the data, or you can clear the cache. This will be the same for all your applications. Uh, if it's something that you've installed that's not already on the Fire TV, it will also allow you to uninstall the application. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this helps you out. If it did, please consider hitting that subscribe button below, smash the like button, and share this video with a friend. I really do appreciate it. Also, check out my second channel if you get a chance. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.